You're watching Greater Brockton, Mark Lindy, your host, and today I have a brand new face, fresh face for uh, Greater Brockton. Welcome, Brianna. Mark, thank you so much for having me. Thanks for coming it. up. Well, I know you didn't quite get what you wanted because <laughs> you wanted to lock me up and jail me and, and, and hold me hostage for ransom, but it's a Tuesday and I teach at Massasoit Community College. And we're going to let you off okay. the hook this time, Mark. But what we're going to offer you in return is to promote it and to do some coverage of it, do a nice segment, and help you get your mission accomplished. We appreciate okay? that. So we have a lockup, an MDA lockup, yes. on Tuesday, September 27th. There's actually three different times, mm -hmm. 60 minutes mm -hmm. uh, only, which is, I think, newer. It is, it is. Okay. We used to hold our jailbirds until they had their bail raised. Right. Now it's a one-hour sentence, really, no matter which way you turn it. Um, this flyer says, at work arrest. Get mug shots taken, gourmet bread, and, gourmet bread and water. I like that. <laughs> Networking and local media coverage. Yeah. What could be better? Can't beat it. Not on a Tuesday afternoon. And, and what better way to get out of the office for an hour, do a lot of good, and uh, connect with the community? Are chicken wings involved by uh, any well, chance? It is at Buffalo Wild Wings, so I will make a firm promise that chicken wings are involved. Okay, and we covered something there, a little different. The firefighters and the police did a little, a little wing uh, off. Did or, a wing off yeah. recently. Um, so who, can you, can you shed any light on who might be a jailbird well, in Brockton? I, I can tell you that our list is growing daily, Mark. Okay. Uh, and a couple, right now we do have a few uh, local celebrities, if you want to call them. Actually, the Massachusetts State Senator uh, Br Brady is coming down mm -hmm. for the afternoon, as well as Representative Claire Cronin. Mm -hmm. um, KO, our Brockton Rocks mascot, mm -hmm. will be one of our honorary jailbirds. We'll be there around 11.30 on the day of uh, to take photos with our honorary jailbirds and sit behind our, our bars. Um, so those are a few of our, our, our notables, but we do have right now over 40 companies represented mm. um, to really feed the networking opportunity and element of, of the event. Now, I remember we were talking about this before we started recording back a few years ago mm -hmm. when, you know, one of my former employees, I think it might have been the fifth time he worked for me, Carl Pride did yeah. a segment and he got arrested in a cruiser mm -hmm. and we took him down and you're still using that video, which makes us feel really and good. And it makes us feel really great too to have that as a resource and, and show people this is what you can expect when you're, when you're going to be locked up because that's the number one thing people I think shy away from is that this is such an out of the box fundraiser that it's really not something you see every day and they get the phone call and they, they hear, you know, we have a fun warrant to arrest you, Mark. And uh, they really are curious about what that means and what the process is. So we make it as engaging as possible. Uh, we do send out undercover officers to their place of employment with a warrant to arrest them that day. They can choose between a limo ride uh, or a ride and cruiser. So someone who's maybe a little iffy about getting taken away from work in the back of a cop car has an alternative. Mm -hmm. um, they get down to our jailhouse, they turn their bail in, they get their mug shots taken, which we print and give them to take home for the day for as, as a souvenir, really. Mm -hmm. um, they'll be meeting our honorary judge, who is one of our local families, a summer camper uh, that was able to experience MDA summer camp this summer. Mm -hmm. be going back in 2017. Uh, so we like these individuals who are choosing to volunteer to have the opportunity to meet the families we're helping locally and really connect the dots and see where the dollars we raise go to help. Um, they'll be able to network, have lunch, of course, um, and then after the hour, we bring it back. We bring them right back to work. So they so. get to wear one of those outfits. One of that these, you have yes. Over there. So this so is. So are we going to get a photo op with uh, <gasps> Senator Brady in stripes? Uh, absolutely, you are, and I can. Um, I can actually make sure that does happen. So he's going to put these on, and it's a pullover. We've got really one size fits all here. So it goes on just like that. We've got a, okay. a set of bars. That right you over your mic, behind. so we're going to get oh, it back off. Okay. So we can hear you, otherwise we can't hear you. But um, Costumes are involved, the, the, yes. There's a gavel. This involved. is what our judge will have. So when the jailbirds arrive, she will sentence them to their 60 minutes behind bars at Buffalo Wild Wings. Um, it's all really just a, in good fun, but playing into the lockup uh, theme. And the lockup idea, I think, really comes from the fact that the people we serve uh, tend to often be powerless in their bodies. The neuromuscular diseases that we cover, all 43 of them are degenerative. So over time, they worsen. Um, and the lockup itself, you know, jailbirds are, are locked up for one hour. These young people and adults um, spend their entire life or most of their life locked up in some way or form in their own body. So it is symbolic on many levels and um, it's a great program. A lot of people really enjoy getting locked up. We have repeat offenders that come back every year um, 
actually this, it's been a few years since we've been in Brockton, so we're, we're mm. kind of excited about that. Now, I'm looking at all these brochures and everything like that. I'll just hold it up so we don't have to change the shot too much, but there's the Jailbirds right on the front, Jailbird Toolkit. That's right. Okay, very nice. Colorful, you're under arrest poster. Yeah. Um, I like the little gavel because uh, I'm on a school committee and we get a, we, kids made a big gavel over at oh. Southeastern. And one day I hit it a little too hard and I jolted someone out of the chair. Oh. But if you're, if you're familiar <laughs> with the court system, I mean, Brockton, Brockton has judges that really care about the mm -hmm. community. There are youth judges like yeah. Judge Saviano who, who uh, works at Brockton Youth Soccer. They're very community oriented. I, I went to high school with one of the guys mm -hmm. who was a judge. So um, Brockton has is one of, you know, it's the city in Plymouth County. Yeah. There's a superior court, a district court here. There's mm -hmm. a housing court. Uh, we now have a drug court. So mm -hmm. people don't get locked up and deal with some of those issues. Mm -hmm. But this is, this, this, this is special. This is fun. Now, September is the month that a lot of the local fire departments put out the boot. Mm -hmm. There are toll booths floating mm -hmm. around. That's Labor another Day way, Labor yes. Day weekend. Um, the telethon, we were talking about the telethon, ran its course. Mm -hmm. Jerry Lewis was the key to the telethon. Exactly. He unfortunately is no longer with us. But so this is even more important now mm -hmm. because it, it replaces, I mean, we all used to watch the telethon on Channel mm -hmm. 5. Brockton, my board president here, her and her husband were very involved with the local M MDA telethon. It's funny, actually, the, the video day. that Carl had made when he was arrested six, seven years ago. I think yeah. the both of them are were part of that event, and mm -hmm. they're on that segment mm -hmm. talking about you know serving on the e board and um, you know really attesting to how local the money does stay and how many families here in our community benefit from the effort jailbirds put into raising their bail. So what do they have to raise to be bailed? So the ultimate bail goal, we set it at two thousand dollars which covers an entire week's tuition at MDA summer camp for one of our campers. It's mm -hmm. a really relatable number, um, but there is no minimum. We certainly don't keep anyone washing dishes overnight or string them up and throw them in the, you know, uh, the, the real estate. Not a bad place to be sentenced, though. <laughs> if you're going to go anywhere for an hour, there's right? There's a bar you're be there, stuck there's anywhere. chicken wings. It's not a bad deal. <laughs> it's a really great deal. So what... Um, the, the jailbirds have to raise the money. Can people, I mean, can people show up that day yes. and hand make a money? donation? Make a donation. And the thing is, is we tend to have so many people from different parts of the community that if you walk in that day on September 27th to bail someone out, I guarantee you'll recognize a familiar face and, and really know, I want, okay, I'm going to donate towards your bail specifically. But general donations are accepted as well. Um, and actually at mdalockup.org backslash Brockton 2016. You can either search for someone that you know that is a jailbird. You can nominate someone to be a jailbird. That's how this program works. We rely on people calling us and saying, hey, I know someone really great that you should be arresting. So my staff turned me in, right? Is so someone happened? turned you in uh -oh. somewhere down the line. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Well, we'll, we'll figure out. We're good. We can put a good spin on this. And of course, I usually have a checkbook handy too. So. <laughs> great. Well. Um, so any phone number? at all if anybody wanted to yeah, contact absolutely. you absolutely so our office else? line is 401 732 1910 mm -hmm. um, and my email address is blittlefield at mdausa.org mm -hmm. um, and reaching out either one of those ways or checking us out on facebook searching for mda of rhode island in southeastern massachusetts is our specific district name okay. um, and we can get in touch with us via facebook as well there is an event page for the uh, the lockup too so uh, we're out there just come yeah. find us We'll give you some of the video so you can use it for other purposes and Great. take some stills from it. Awesome. So welcome. Perfect. Thank nice you to so see much. You. We appreciate it. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.